I have not, uh, I don't know the reasons uh, behind um, um, what Comrade Tony would have said. Uh, and I'm, I'm sure the leadership will come and explain to us through the statement, and then we'll take it from there because uh, I'm sure there should be reasons why he opted to, to, uh, to go to, 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 to ask the president to step aside. Do you share his sentiments or not? Well, uh, it's not about sentiments. I'm sharing the sentiment about the resolutions. Everyone who's got a matter before the court must step aside. So he's got a matter with the Well, uh, if there is a matter that is before the court that involves the president, the president must step aside. For more, our reporter, as you heard there, Samkele Maseko, uh, spoke uh, exclusively to the uh, Kuruleni executive mayor, Mzondi Lemassin. The Kuruleni regional chairperson of the ANC, Mzondi Lemassina, is picketing outside St. George's Hotel in what he calls that the ANC must implement conference resolutions as all leaders charged with corruption or in any court of law must step aside. I'm going to bring him in on the significance of this particular picket that he has embarked on. Mr. Masina, why have you decided to picket here outside St. George's Hotel? Well, uh, this is where the National Executive Committee of the ANC meet uh, uh, as and when it, it convenes. As you know that uh, due to COVID, the, the leadership is meeting uh, online. So I decided that uh, I should come here symbolically because this is a, a, a usual venue that hosts the, the, the National Executive Committee meetings. The ANC in recent times, particularly during this COVID-19 pandemic, has received a battering when it comes to allegations of corruption that have bedeviled the party. What is actually going on at the high levels of alleged corruption that is set to be taking place in your party using state resources? Well, uh, I think that uh, the, we have received a letter from the president uh, as general membership where uh, the letter sp spoke firmly uh, about the wrongs that are happening. The reason why I thought I should come out as a member of the ANC is to say, not in my name. People can't commit uh, uh, allegations of fraud and corruption and we are all bundled into one. So I am saying that the leadership uh, has actually taken resolves uh, in, the, in the conference, the 54th National Conference, who are clear on how we should deal with issues of allegations how we should deal with issues of, uh, that are before the court. So the, the leadership needs to be firm and implement across the board, not across factional lines. You've got a number of ANC leaders who are currently charged with bribery, corruption, I'd name but a few people like Mugani Pongo, Yotani Mutise, on animal cruelty, on a farm in Limpopo, on in, in the northwest rather, on her pigs. You've got the president when it comes to the ceiling of uh, the CR17 donations. Should they all step aside? Well, uh, the NEC is sitting now. It has to look into each and every case. It's merit and those that are, are transgressing this resolution that I'm talking about, we should be able then to uh, uh, to say to them they must step aside. Including the president of the ANC? Any member who has transgressed because there is no member of the ANC who is above the ANC. So any member of the ANC who has transgressed these resolutions of the, of the ANC as we know them, we are saying the member must assist the party because uh, the, the, the ANC is, uh, is, is, is really being affected. You know, there is a hashtags like uh, food tech ANC, people are tired of corruption and this and that. So if we can act as members or we just say every member of the ANC is in the wrong, we, 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 we are making a big mistake. Let's be clear that those that have done wrong, there is a provision in the resolution on how they should be treated and we are calling on the leadership to ensure that they exercise exactly that, not along factional lines. Tony Yangene has called on the president to lead by example and step aside. Do you share the same sentiments? Well, uh, for, in my view, is that the, what is critical is that there is no member of the ANC who is above the, 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 the ANC, including the president. So whether it's the president, is myself, is a member from anywhere, if, if you've got a matter of fraud and corruption before the court, you should step aside. Uh, I'm not sure whether the president has got that matter or not, but if he has, he has to step aside. Uh, if it's me having an allegation of corruption data before the court, I have to step aside. That's what the resolutions are saying. So there is no member of the ANC that is bigger than the ANC. What we must make sure here is that the application of rule should be consistent, should be across the board, regardless of as to who commits the offence, if indeed there is an offence. The president is in court right now over Busasa, the ceiling of those particular dormants of his donations to the CR17 campaign. Should he step aside on the virtue that he's embroiled in a court litigation with the public protector over the ceiling of the CR17 funds? Well, the NEC is sitting now. They should be able to guide us uh, in terms of the outcome because uh, we are clear that they, we have to follow the guidelines that have been set. If it's an allegation from the media, you go to Integrity Commission, failure which you must be taken to a DC. It's non-negotiable. If the matter relates 
to fraud and corruption and is before the court. You should step aside. That's what the ANC says in terms of its own resolution. So we don't want to reinterpret those because it is me today or it is uh, Mr. Yengeni and, and, and so on and so on. Every member of the ANC who's got a matter before the court related to fraud and corruption because it might happen that some girl you are before the court for drinking and driving. I'm not sure how the ANC will place that, that matter, but it, we were very clear that issues that relate to fraud, corruption, uh, you should step aside until, you, in, until such time that you are cleared. So we didn't say there's a special provision for special people. There are no special people in the ANC. We all join the same organization. We all belong to the branch. So we must be treated the same. So the NEC should guide us in terms of, of their deliberation as to how they have concluded on the matter of the president. If indeed uh, uh, Comrade Tony called for him to step aside, I'm sure they will also share the reasons with us because we are not members of the NEC. Uh, so we might not know what exactly would have led him to, to, uh, to call the president to step aside. Uh, uh, there might be others who might to have called others to step aside who would want to know as membership of the ANC. What we can accept generally is for us to be painted with the same brush of corruption because we don't want to be walking across here who are painted with brush of corruption. Here's accused number one. We, we are standing here to say there is many of us who have not done anything wrong. In an event we do something wrong, we should be able to follow the resolution so that no one is above the, the, the African National Congress. Should we see mass exodus of people stepping aside from Monday after the after this weekend's NEC of the ANC? The ANC must cleanse itself. We need the ANC of Oliver Tambo, the ANC that represents the aspiration of our people. We need the ANC that is going to carry us from generation to come. The ANC can't die in our hands. The ANC is not individual, but it is the party itself. We have to work hard to ensure that we can protect the credibility of the party. As we have seen, successive elections we have suffered, uh, 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 you know, losses because the trust deficits between us and the community. It is therefore important that the ANC must stand firm with regard to issues that makes our society to frown, frown upon the very same party, the African National Congress. Thank you very much, Mr. Masina. That was Mzondila Masina, the regional chairperson of the ANC in Ekorulin, saying any leader of the ANC who is charged with fraud and corruption must step aside and other issues of leaders like President Ramaphosa, who is in court over the Busas, over the CR-17 campaign funds must also seek clarity after ANC, NWC and NEC member Tony Yengeni called for him to step down.